pH meters are very useful tools as they allow us to measure the pH of unknown solutions. So to start by using a pH meter, we must first turn it on. This is done by pressing the circular button. Once the pH meter is on, we must first calibrate the pH meter. So this is done by pressing Cal. We can see that the pH meter is now in calibration mode, but that it has been previously calibrated. We must first erase the previously calibrated standards by pressing clear. Clear needs to be pressed twice for the standards to be completely cleared. At this point, we are now ready to calibrate our pH meter ourselves. Um, the electrode must first be taken out of its storage buffer, and this can be done by just twisting the bottom. Ensure that the electrode is not left outside of the storage buffer for an extended period of time. When the electrode is being transferred to a different solution, it always needs to be washed. This can be done by rinsing the electrode into waste using distilled water. Once been rinsed, the electrode needs to be blotted dry gently using a tissue can wipe. We are now ready to immerse the electrode into our first standard. Um, our first standard that we are going to be used is pH 4. Make sure you swirl your standard gently. At this point on the pH meter, we want to press the read button. This will allow us to take the first measurement. At this point, we want to watch what's known as the auto eye for it to stop blinking. When the auto eye stops blinking, that's an indication that the measurement has been successfully taken. After you hear the beep, that's an indication that the measurement has been successfully taken, and we are now ready to take our second measurement. First, however, we need to rinse our electrode once more. We now need to press read and the second measurement will be taken. The second measurement is going to be taken at a known pH of 7. The pH solutions are obtained from a standard buffer solution and are placed in smaller beakers. The second measurement has now been taken and we are ready to measure our unknown solution. If the electrode is going to be left outside of water for an extended period of time, it is important that it is returned um, to the storage buffer solution as we do not want the electrode to dry out. In this case, however, I'm going to immerse it in my unknown solution. I'm now ready to take the pH meter out of calibration mode. All I have to do is press exit. When measuring an unknown solution, it is important to make sure that the um, solution is stirring. Sometimes it's necessary to adjust the electrode so that the electrode is not interfering with the stir bar. Make sure that the electrode is being completely immersed in the solution, however again, is not being hit by the stir bar. The pH reader is now reading the current pH of the solution. So at this point, I wait for the pH meter to stop changing. And once we've reached a constant solution, I can record my pH. So in this case, 5.69. Once I've recorded all my pHs, I remove my electrode from the unknown solution, rinse the electrode, and return it to the storage buffer. At this point, I can now turn the pH meter off.